am I really as normal as people would really say I am? I mean, yeah, I do normal stuff like normal people. I mean, yeah, I wake up like a normal person. I take showers like a normal person. But does that really count me as normal? I don't like the term normal because that's not what I am. I don't want to be defined as a normal person. I'm not the average person. I'm just an psychotic person in a normal state of mind. People don't understand what I go through day by day. People don't understand what happens to me day by day. But they don't care. They just want to see the worst out of me. But guess what? I ain't gonna let that bring me down. Fuck it. I'm done playing games. Welcome to the video. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, DMurder11. I'm back at it again, and I hope y'all enjoyed that little intro I made. I'm just trying to explain myself and how I get through things in life. But enough about me right now. We're talking about the upcoming game of the year, of my opinion. We're talking about that Call of Duty Black Ops 3, and most importantly, that zombies. I'm going to be giving y'all some information and some tips on how y'all can probably survive in this zombie apocalypse about Shadows of Evil and the upcoming DLC, The Giant. Now, let's go ahead and hop right into this one. First, let's talk about Shadows of Evil. Comes out with four new characters, Nero, Jessica, Vincent, and Floyd. They all come from four different troubled backgrounds and controlled by one man, the mysterious man, the Shadow Man. Yeah, I don't know much about the Shadow Man, but as the game progresses on through the year of 2016, I'll let y'all know something about that. Next, we're going to be talking about the Giant, which also comes from Deary's, the most famous maps in World at War and Black Ops 1. It brings back the characters from Origins, Tank, Nikolai, Takio, and Edward. It all comes back w with them from Origins. It picks up from where the game left off in Black Ops 2 and last year's Zombies. It also comes with a new XP, XP based progression system where just like multiplayer when you can complete achievements and all that, you get XP for it and you level up faster unlocking new abilities and whatnot. Now, tips for this I could give you would be don't ignore the repairs, take advantages of all buildables, get better at headshots, don't forget to buy all the perks, invest your money in Pack-A-Punch, and learn how to ride the train. This will all be useful for when the game comes out. Usually, you should know this by now, but this is just my simple example of what you need to know about it. Um, also, you need to know when to knife and when to use your melee power-ups, such as the Bowie knife, the Galvan knuckles, and the new wind knife. Also, another thing is when to use your equipment, such as claymores, Semtex grenades, monkeys, and new strike beacons. All this stuff will probably be no more of a one-hit kill after round 27, so that would be a good thing to know when the game comes out. Also, Treyarch is releasing a new update today releasing nightmare mode nightmare mode is just really the same thing just adding zombie related objectives to the game but that brings me to the end of my video i will put a link in the description if you want to check this out so murder the subscribe button shoot up the like button leave a comment if you damn well like to and i will see you guys in the next one peace